Hi, I'm Dr. Carl Bloom here at Protea Medical Center in Tempe, Arizona, and today I want to talk to you about the postpartum brain. Um, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know in my last one I actually had my little baby with me, my youngest child, so just know if you're a postpartum mama, I am on this journey with you. I just want to give some information that might explain some of the drastic changes that happen to us as we enter motherhood. I think it's important to start by saying that I'm approaching this conversation from a place of compassion and understanding. In no way do I want to discredit the symptoms that we experience postpartum or minimize any of those, but rather I'd like to maybe spin them into a little bit more positive light and give you a little bit more credit as a mom for the things that you're experiencing and what you're going through. We undergo some pretty dramatic changes to our brains, which can produce some of the symptoms that we feel. So I'd love to talk you through those and, and again, maybe give you just a little bit more credit for all the hard work that you're doing. Okay, so first let's talk about what actually is happening to the brain. So we're talking structural, physical changes to the composition of our brains that are dramatic enough we can actually see them on brain imaging, um, so much so that we can present pictures of the brain to a computer and it can distinguish the postpartum brain versus the normal brain, which is pretty fascinating. So we see some changes to that actual composition of the brain, which include an increase in white matter, which can be temporary, and then a more permanent reduction in gray matter. So what does that mean? White matter is the area of the brain where um, our, our brain sends the signal to communicate. So one area of the brain talking to another area of the brain, that signal is transmitted through white matter, a connection in that area. The gray matter in the brain is the actual substance where the good stuff is happening, the thinking, the memories, the logic, all of that stuff. So we're seeing this temporary increase in white matter during pregnancy that then resolves, and then a more permanent reduction in gray matter, which is wild. So yes, mom, you heard me right. Your brain has quite literally shrunk now that you've grown and birthed a baby. That sounds bad. However, it actually uh, is kind of cool to talk through. So let's talk about the different areas of the brain that are affected, how they affect us, and what that means for our symptoms as new moms and postpartum moms. So that reduction in gray matter affects a lot of areas of the brain, the majority of the brain, in fact. And there's a few areas that I think are the most interesting that we'll talk about today. They cover areas of the brain that include our emotional regulation centers of the brain for fear, anxiety, our social relationships, our memories, and our executive functioning. How that might impact us are some of those most common symptoms that we experience postpartum, things like anxiety, intrusive thoughts, depression, changes in our social relationships, and brain fog. All of that comes back to these structural changes that occur in the brain in that postpartum period. 